welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, and as you can see by the title of this video, I am telling you guys about my TBR for the Make Your Mistaker Readathon. This readathon is created by Ashley from Affiliates for Fiction and Charlotte from uh, Shortcore on Twitter. I will leave their info down below, as well as the announcement video that Ashley did, which is super thorough. So if you need more information on that one, I would highly suggest you check it out, because I won't be able to explain it as well as she does. So. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already. Yeah, so the Make Your Myth Taker Readathon is basically about reading fantasy. You make your own character, your own myth taker. And basically the premise is to read a bunch of fantasy slash that are like based on myths and folklore. You don't really have to read fantasy, but that is what the readathon was created for. As you know, I don't read a ton of fantasy, but this readathon just sounded super fun. So I just decided that I did want to participate. So basically um, you have four groups. Um, and within those groups you have multiple character paths that you can follow. We have like uh, a group called Royal Court, you have the rogues, the warriors, and another one, sorcerers I think. And within those groups you have different character paths you can take. So I went for Royal Court and I'm gonna take the path of the Jester. And with each character path there are four prompts, so four books you need to read. You can't double up on anything and you have to read the books in order. Um, from the order of the prompt. I hope it makes sense. Um, as I said, check out Ashley's video because she did amazing. Uh, she did an amazing job explaining everything. But like I said, I want to be a jester. Uh, I went for that path because I think if, for me it seemed like the easiest way to read uh, but, uh, books that were already on my TBR plus a contemporary book because you know I love myself some contemporary. So I, <laughs> it was like my goal to like weave a contemporary book into this readathon and I was able to do so. This readathon. Um, is the whole month of June, so uh, you have to read a minimum of four books you, um, for like one character pet. If you want to read more, you can always pick traits um, or prompts from other characters and read those. But, but I'm gonna stick to four books because I just want to be able to mood read around that. So I will only be reading four books for this readathon. But let's just get into it. The first prompt for Jester is to read a fun mellow grey. And for this one I'm reading The Land of Roar by Jenny McLachlan. This is a book about two kids who came up with The Land of Roar when they were little. But as they grow older they like forget about it. Um, as kids do. But then uh, they turn 11 and things start happening. And one of the kids thinks that maybe The Land of Roar might be real. I think I've seen Cody from Cody's Book Corner talk about this um, and that she liked it. If I'm not mistaken. I'm really excited to get to it. Like the cover is stunning um, and I've been really wanting to read more middle grade so I'm really excited that this was one of the prompts. So this will be the first book I will be reading for this readathon. And the second book will also be a middle grade and the prompt for that one is to read a book with red, gold or purple on the cover. And incidentally I found a book that has all three colors on the cover and that is The Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Ellie Carter. You know I love Ellie Carter. I love her series Gallagher Girls and the High Society trilogy. So when I saw this book, I was like, I have to read this. But yeah, as you can see, it has purple, it has gold, and the girl is wearing a red sweater. So yeah, I thought it was really fun to pick this and um, have all three colors on the book. This one is about a girl called April who is going to the Winterborn home because it's a, a home for orphans. She kind of wants to escape, but then she finds out that um, every kid there has uh, is very remarkable and very different. And they might be more of a family than April realized. But the back says, at the Winterborn home, nothing is what it seems. And no nobody's who they say they are. So I'm excited to see what that one means. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. I love Ellie Carter's work, so I'm excited to read this one. As my second book for the Make Your Myth Taker readathon. And the third prompt is to read a book about books. And I don't think you're going to be surprised with the book I picked. Yeah, I'm going to read The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. Finally, I've been wanting to read this book since it came out and I'm excited that I finally get to pick it up in June. If I'm not mistaken, this book is about a guy who is able to travel through books. He discovers mysterious books in the stacks of his campus library. He begins to read and is entranced by tales of lovelorn prisoners, lost cities and nameless acolytes. Honestly, I love The Night Circle. I'm just really excited to read a new book by Aaron Morgenstern. And I'm so happy that uh, I picked the path that had a prompt where I could read this. It's a big one, so I'm glad I'm only picking four books for this readathon, because it might take me a little while to get through this, but I'm excited. And then the last one is performance elements. Uh, this can be like a mask, mask ball, or masquerade, um, trickery, like those kinds of things. And at first, um, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I know any books on my shelf that um, have this element to it. But then I found The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson. And this one uh, has to do with trickery because um, the main character is a twin and her twin sister does beauty pageants but then when, uh, but then a few days before an important 
beauty pageant. She gets a horrible outbreak from allergies and she cannot uh, go on anymore. So, her twin, so the main character decides to go on in her place and think, let people think that it's the twin, if that makes sense. So this is definitely has to do with uh, tricking uh, everyone else into believing that she is her sister. I actually already started the audiobook for this a while back, but I'm just gonna uh, start again from the beginning while I'm reading this. But yeah, I uh, bought this last year because I was hoping to read it for another readathon, but it didn't, co it didn't uh, fit with any of the prompts, so I'm really excited that I can pick it up um, for this readathon. Those are all the books I'll be reading during the Myth Make Your Mistake a Readathon. I'm really excited about this TBR. I think it's a really fun one. I'm excited to finally get some more uh, middle grades in. And I'm excited to finally read the Starless Sea. This will be my TBR. I know it's a month long readathon, but I don't think I'll be doing any weekly vlogs. Uh, I might do a weekend vlog or two, but I won't promise anything because I ha really have to be in the mood to vlog. So if I don't end up vlogging, you can always you know, follow me on Instagram because I will be doing updates on my stories constantly. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I will leave all the information about this readathon and the announcement video down below, as well as on my social media if you want to come follow me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week. Bye!